Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm Living Chronic Faith. Thanks for stopping by. Have you ever attended a conference or maybe a concert, and you saw someone wearing a lanyard that had a pass that says, All Access? The reason is because there are some places in that venue that a general admission ticket does not allow you to access. There's security at certain checkpoints that will make sure that the people who are supposed to be there are able to get in, but everyone else will have to stay out of there. It's for safety reasons, it's for liability reasons. There are all kinds of reasons that access is restricted to some areas. But for the people with those all access passes, they are permitted to go anywhere within that venue because they have already been cleared to enter those areas. Security knows that if they see that pass, they are to let that person through because they've already been given access. Do you know that as a believer, you have that kind of access to God? There is no security in the kingdom that is going to restrict you or limit where you can go if God has already given you access, and he has. The word of God says, in him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. See, the enemy wants to convince you that you don't have a right to go to God for certain things, that you don't have a right to do certain things within the kingdom. But God himself, through Jesus and through our faith in him, has given us that freedom and that confidence to come to him boldly, to ask for what we need. And not only that, but to pursue whatever God says that we can have. See, this is not freedom and confidence to do whatever we want. This is freedom and confidence to do whatever he says that we can do with the knowledge that he is backing us up in every single step. He is not going to leave us alone. He is not going to abandon us and he is not going to embarrass us. If God says that we can have something or that we can do something, then he is going to see that through to fruition. So I wonder today what you've been holding back on. What areas of the venue have you not been visiting because you did not realize that you had unrestricted access? What areas in your faith walk or in your relationship with God have you been treating as if they were off limits, even though God has given you freedom? I pray that starting today, you will have that confidence to seek him, to pursue everything he said that you can have, do, and be with the knowledge that he is faithful to bring it to pass. I love you. I'm praying for you, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Living Chronic Faith is a faith-first community of believers living with chronic medical conditions and the loved ones who support them. For more support, encouragement, and resources, join the membership for free at www.livingchronicfaith.com.